Hey guys, so switching gears here for a little bit, I wanted to get into some smaller items. This is definitely one of the smaller of them. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery sold by Ridodo, or they say it's pronounced Ridodio. Not sure how they get that. They're lacking a couple letters if you ask me. Anyway, this is a mini version. So they've managed to get the 100 amp hour capacity into a smaller package. So they just use uh, longer, thinner uh, cells. And so uh, this is a lot more compact. You can get it into a tighter area and you can get multiple batteries probably in where you could only get one before, depending on the shape or where you're cramming them in. So uh, use cases for this type of battery, this is a budget battery. So it does not have cold temperature protection or Bluetooth capability. On the other hand, you could get both with a shunt. So if you have uh, the correct shunt, if you buy the correct shunt, uh, then you could get the protection and the Bluetooth capability with those. So I think there is a place for budget batteries still uh, and 12 volt batteries, even though I think for larger systems like houses, uh, 48 volt is pretty much the way to go. Uh, but 12 volt still has a place. So I wanted to do a review on this. I'm going to be doing a capacity test coming up and we'll take a look and see how well it does. So it comes with pretty basic gear here. Two different pairs of M8 volts for the terminals. Plastic covers for the terminals. The manual is actually pretty descriptive. They did a pretty good job with it. Uh, it I believe you can put 16 of these in parallel. And it's a max charge and discharge of 100 amps. Also, it can discharge for five seconds at 250 amps, according to the manual. Also, there's a bunch of stickers that come with it. So if you are a sticker person, this is the battery for you. All right, so it is right at nine inches tall. Just over 10 inches wide and depth would be just over five inches. So here is my highly sophisticated testing setup. <laughs> I have a, a uh, Victron Smart Shunt 500 amp going through this extremely cheap Duracell 1000 watt inverter. Wouldn't recommend these. I think it's a modified sine wave. Uh, so they're cheap junk, but um, it was at Costco for 30 bucks. Uh, quite a while back. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try this for testing. I'm going to try to get a 0.2 C rate. And that's a fancy word for saying if it's a 100 amp hour battery, then it'll be 20 amps of discharge. Cool. We'll fire it up. That's about as close as I can get it to a 0.2C rate, right at 20 amps or just a smidge underneath 20 amps. So I'm almost more excited about the, the Victron shunt than anything. I haven't done anything with Victron yet. And there we go, the low voltage kicked in. Looks like it passed, 103. Cool, 103 amp hour. Well, that about wraps it up. Not a whole bunch to say on the unit, other than the fact that it's a good amount of battery in a small package. Uh, it met capacity. Seems to be a decent battery. Like I said, I would get a shunt with it, a quality shunt that can not only monitor how much capacity you have in there, but take care of the temperature control also. That way you won't be uh, ruining the battery if you're trying to charge in freezing temperatures. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pop the battery apart. So I've seen a couple other reviews online already on uh, these batteries, these minis. So I'm not feeling the need to rip it apart to look inside. I may do that on some future uh, reviews with different batteries. I may not do a whole bunch of battery reviews in general. I don't want the channel to just depend on my rugged good looks and dynamic personality but also have uh, content that people want to watch and they need that can help them. So let me know if you guys want to see more battery reviews and uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thanks for watching.